Mugavana we county ya kisi omosike Paul Simbarati ni gabo lirie biyombe biyoboto kiko ilege tamukuro kia wango na gotuka ingana seki ombe kio. Kebuwa te umorobelio woko mbeka biyara era mwana wabwata ni waye kominabane. Arati oyoli kio roboti ya sichia vizichie kio mbe kio wosalia nobo toki Directorate of Criminal Investigations DCI asomo chio Nairobi. Kalina wawakili waye Governor James Orengo amono mjumbe otiende ya molo. Nikobate uro na chinka chia ye elia kisi ni elia Nairobi. Nikochia tukirue ase walia wako ilege tambo kere kiba kote ya wuna. Nikobako lige chibu nduki echichiraro. That these threats, they have cost Governor Arati our client and they have affected his ability to execute his functions as a governor because he can no longer stay in a place that is hostile and the hostility is being perpetuated by the persons who are support, supposed to protect him. What then we are saying is that he is no longer able to execute his functions as a governor domiciled in Kisi because that is where the threat is. So these threats are affecting the ability of the governor to execute his functions. Copy of that clip to the police also this morning and this afternoon, where an, a police officer, a CCIO in Kisi, is recorded giving instructions and giving insights into how uh, guns, uh, firearms, and other things are going to be planted on Governor Arati. Partly is to make sure that Governor Arati is not given the space to undertake his duties as uh, Governor of Kisi. This is a unique complaint. We, Governor Arati has lodged a complaint with the DCI against the DCI. So we want to see the action that they take because uh, the alternative is to take the law into our own hands. But as counsel for Governor Arati, we have lodged the complaint, they've assured us there'll be some action, so we went to await that action.